But first, we have the latest developments on a story we first told you about this morning. A camper explodes, sending two people to the hospital. And new since noon, we've learned what triggered this morning's explosion. Eyewitness News reporter Susan Campbell is live on the scene from the East Bay Mobile Newsroom in Tiverton. The people who live here didn't want to talk on camera, but they tell me they were helping out some family friends, letting them stay in a camper on their property. If you take a look, you can see now this is all that's left of that camper. Firefighters say the two people who were inside are lucky to be alive. Early this morning, one loud explosion rocked a tiny neighborhood in Tiverton. I got a phone call from one of my sons saying that they heard an explosion. From what I understand, the house, they felt the house actually shake. We've learned a man and a child were in this camper when it was blown to pieces. When I pulled up, I, I looked and uh, said, my God, if anybody survived this, they're, they're pretty, pretty lucky. Lieutenant Joseph Plasica tells Eyewitness News both victims were able to get out of the camper on their own. He says the little boy was rushed to Hasbro Children's Hospital suffering from second degree burns. The man to Rhode Island Hospital with second and third degree burns. Though the injuries are serious, Lieutenant Plasica says it could have been much worse. The occupants were extremely lucky that uh, there wasn't a greater fire. They were actually uh, lucky that the wall supported the roof. Uh, other than that, the, when the walls kicked out, the roof could have come down on the adult male and the child. Firefighters and police cleared the scene just after noon. A building inspector determined the house next to the camper was not damaged in the explosion. Fire officials say a propane heater caused the explosion. Now coming up new at 6, hear from a neighbor who rushed over and spoke to the homeowner right after the explosion. Live in Tiverton with the Mobile Newsroom, Susan Campbell, Eyewitness News.